Well, everybody, I got the steering done. Let me show you. Okay, I got... What the hell's wrong with my camera? Whoa, this is like crazy. Hold on. Lights up. So you guys can actually see this stuff a little better. Grab this one. And go this one down. Okay. So let me show you what I did here. What you see right there is a big old chunk of three by three angle iron. Three sixteenths thick. Couldn't get it in eight. They don't it doesn't that wall thickness doesn't come that thin for that size of angle iron. I offset, since the mounting bolts for the rack and pinion are a little offset, I measured it down and then drilled the holes. You can see my first screw ups right there. And, because I was gonna mount this down here, but then I decided now I'm gonna mount it from the top. So, I had to re-drill the holes, center this at three inches from this point here, three inches up to the center, of the rack that centers this coming down here so from the top of this hem joint or actually from the edge of the spindle right here up is at three inches so the center of the spindle and the rack is parallel with each other uh, I can't really get down that far but the let me see if I can uh, set this thing up so you guys can actually see it better. All right, there we go. Uh, nothing's level in here, so um, next thing I'm gonna have to work on is the uh, steering mount. So I've got two knuckles in here, and then this knuckle right here will go up to where the steering uh, steering wheel is gonna be. But when I rotate this and turn it, there's my steering. The Ackerman works great on this thing, almost a little too good. Because I was out, you can see how there's dirt on these tires. I pulled this thing out. That's where it stops, right there. I pulled this thing out, ran around the yard with it, you know, pushing it and steering it with my hand. The Ackerman is so good that the outside tire starts to slip. That's all I really did right there. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get some... Oh, I know one of you guys had asked me about this, PM'd me about this. Will my tie rods collide with my shocks? Okay. I'm going to try to do this with two different hands, doing two different things. So, rotate this. I'm trying to turn this with one hand. It's in the ass, come on. There. See, so we don't get any collision right there. Go over on the other side and show you guys the other side. So now that I have this thing totally turned, see if I can hold the camera up. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, at the Ackerman, I don't know if you guys can see it if I'm holding this thing right, but I'm kind of eyeballing the camera direction. But this tire here is turning sharper. So, uh, yeah. But like I said, when turning, if I was out outside pushing this thing around, the tire that would be slipping is this one. This one slips a lot. And then if I turned it the other direction, then it would be this tire that's slipping a lot. So, yeah. Let me show you here. Straighten this thing out. I think it might have a little bit too much toe in. I 
See what those shocks do? That's just from my weight being way up in front here. Shut me, I better be careful. <laughs> I've got my engine on the back of this thing and it don't even it's not even bolted down. Yeah, I can see that happening. You can see that flopping over. Yeah. Put the camera down on the ground. So you can see that happening. <laughs> That's where we're at right there. how much the uh, shocks are collapsed I push down on it they don't come all the way up I need to put I'm gonna need to put stronger shocks on this thing I can look at it from up top here and I can see that the tires are not towing in too much they are, slightly. But, that's just with my weight up front there. I sit back here, put my weight back here in the center. Yeah. I think we'll be all right. Oh yeah. But these shocks are 11 inches from eye to eye and they can't expand any further than that so I need to find some stronger shocks other than these ones and I want them to be 11 and maybe it's 11 three quarters let me grab my tape measure quick yeah they're a little compressed right now so I'm assuming that they're 11 inches from eye to eye so I need to get some stronger shocks than those. We'll have 11 inches from eye to eye. Whew. And yet have, what is this, uh, 3 8 I think. Yeah, 3 8 inch eyelets. So on both ends. I mean, I could probably put in an insert that's going to cover this, you know, if I have smaller bolts, you know, if the eyelets are smaller, but, yeah. So now, what I'm going to do is I'll probably just end up, you can see the clamps on here, they're just holding on this angle iron, so I'll probably just zap a weld on there to hold that thing in. We've got a big-ass winter, winter, winter storm coming at us. Great.